that's pretty nasty here luckily it's uh, the normal voltage so that's one problem less so it's all up and running we've got a blinking cursor over there uh, and from what I remember I have to press F3 to get to the setup you can see actually it makes this nice nice click you move the arrow keys or what they call cursor keys and then I wanted to select uh, one of the sub menus so I press the enter key and suddenly it tells me press enter to take this action so I I was a little bit uh, confused but turns out that this is the return key and the enter key is on the numerical keyboard and uh, no, that's terrible. Now let's adjust the speeds. Transmit uh, uh, 19200. Okay, that's the fastest one, I think. And uh, well, both things that I'm planning to connect it to that is the Sun Ultra One or this Dell running Debian. They surely support 90, 19200 speed. 8 bits, no parity. That's normal. 2 stop bits, make it 1 stop bit. Uh, I think we can now try and uh, hook it up to the computer somewhat. It has a wide 25 pin serial cable on the back. So I'm thinking of a way to save myself from soldering 10 cables, uh, or rather 9, because uh, I don't think, yeah, definitely 9 pin RS232 doesn't have a speed select pin. So what I'm thinking is to actually solder only the transmission data receive data and signal ground and now set the terminal to no flow control and see if it actually works and if it works then we are golden if it doesn't then we have to dig deeper okay so the naive approach is to actually make this 9 pin serial connector on the PC side and 25 pin serial on the VT side and now reading up on the uh, operating manual uh, that is Appendix C if you're curious uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the RX from PC side and connect it to TX that is annotated in the manual as from VT and we're gonna take the TX from the PC side and connect it to RX that is labeled to VT in the manual and then go ahead and uh, connect the grounds together uh, because uh, that's kind of necessary and see if we can actually send characters to it alright so it says it's okay uh, that's a very good thing we've just seen uh, its self-test which usually, when it's uh, off for a longer time, doesn't appear and you just uh, see this faint weight. When it comes to accessing this from Linux, you want to generally run a process called Getty. And Getty is a process that... Uh, Getty is a program that gives you... mostly uh, simplifying, it gives you the login prompt. So. You can see the parameters are Getty, then dash L, then the terminal name, in this case my serial port, it's the only one, it's TTYS0, slash dev slash TTYS0, then you give it the speed, 9600 is a safe speed, and then you give it the terminal type. Run Getty, and we should see the login prompt appear here. Exactly, now we can log in. Alright, we're in. Alright, so I think let's have some fun with it now. And more, yes, welcome the human. Be careful, human, tonight, alright? I'll try not to die. On camera. Uh... Elisha, right? So maybe we're gonna zap it with force bolt and have enough energy to cast that spell. All right, so just attack it. All right, it's killed. And see here a blindfold. That's neat. We picked up the blindfold and now shift K. 
What kind of a retro computing video would that be if we didn't go online on this thing? So let's go ahead and start Elinx. Now Elinx is a text mode browser. It's probably my favorite one on Linux. Uh, now we can type in the address. Apart from NetHack, another uh, text mode game came into my mind, and this is Donet. And if you have Emacs installed, then either on Linux or on Windows, you can play Donet by just entering escapex, that's metax, and typing Donet and striking enter. And this is a um, truly text only a game, kind of like Zork. But as you can see, yeah, yeah you're at the end of the dirt road, the road goes na 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 na, so let's go east. <laughs> 